Hello, if you're watching this video, you probably already know about Super Auto Pets, the game that's taking uh, really the whole world by storm with its cute pet emojis. It's an auto battler with pretty low barrier for entry and surprising amount of competitive depth. There are lots of competitive players who are constantly playing 1v1 matches, tournaments and the like, but what there isn't so much of are arena tournaments, that is tournaments that make use of the standard arena mode that most new players would first experience. So I decided to put together this tournament and put some of those really good competitive players to the test, see how well they do in the arena after all. So. Here's the quick overview. Each player plays six arena runs with the weekly pack. The player with the most fights won in total is the winner. So maximum score possible of 60. The winner gets $20 and eternal glory. And the eternal glory, um, it's not as nice as the $20, but it is eternal. On top of this, we had a bunch of other rules to ensure fair play. Here is the pack. I'm going to go over it real quickly. On tier one, we have Frilled Dragon as well as Ant and Cricket. With all these in together, Frilled Dragon is going to dominate the early game. You can usually get a few wins in just by picking up a Frilled Dragon or two. If you don't find them, you can usually count on losing some hearts early. On two, there's not much that's too game deciding, but the Pug did end up being a major player in the eventual winner's teams. Tier three is very strong in this pack with Dog, Ox, and Turtle being the biggest standouts. Dog especially can be used with the cycling pets like Beaver, as well as money generation and, and making things cheaper. So Swan, Goldfish, and the like. Tier 4 is mostly pretty weak in this pack. Tier 5, you've got a lot of strong units. The Moose can be a ton of scaling. The Vulture for sniping squads. Chicken is really good if you can get it going early enough. you got other solid things here like the Monkey. Tier 6 is where things really get interesting because you have some things here that can totally pivot your team. You can pick up the Cat and start buying cans. You can run the octopus in front of a white tiger. Lots of good stuff going on here. The taper doesn't really uh, do much in this pack, but most of the rest of these tier sixes at least have some interesting considerations. And I would say this is a pack that really power spikes a lot once people start hitting those tier sixes. So I'm just going to show you the leaderboard now. There's not going to be any gameplay in this video, but I will be uploading a full video of me live commentating the eventual winner's games. That'll be on my YouTube channel as well. So here's the leaderboard. We have a bunch of active competitive players as well as Twitch streamers, some of my Twitch viewers, and we see up at the top here, Echo Box is the eventual winner with a total score of 51, the only player to break 50, which is an average score of eight and a half. This was streamed to Discord, and then I live streamed and commentated it to my channel. Second place, we have Bard23, and third place, Marcoto, and they both scored 48, but Bard23 has the higher tiebreaker, which is more at 10 win runs. The thing that I found really interesting here, the average score for a player's first run is about a 5.5. That's very weak considering how good these players are. You see a lot of players like Marcoto and myself getting only three wins in the first run. Just uh, interesting that everybody started off or on average started off so weak and then in run two, got a significantly higher average, 7.8, and then kind of cooled off from there. So really interesting that everybody started off weak, or on average started off weak, then power spiked and, and kind of coasted from there. Interesting stuff. Uh, I do want to point out a couple things. First of all, Violet Citizen picked a sloth, which 
I just have to acknowledge because I have the utmost respect for it. And Betangle was a last minute player who was playing right up until the buzzer and unfortunately did not have time to get a sixth run in. Possibly could have contended for one of these top few spots. Now I want to show some overall stats. There's not too much interesting to see here that we didn't already see, but I do want to point out the number of 10 win occurrences is so much higher than any other number of wins. It's almost three times as common than any other. But we have a lot of three to sixes and very few seven to nines. So what this means, a lot of the time these players are going to be playing pretty risky in the weekly trying to get these tens if they can get into the late game they know how to build a team that will get 10 wins that's the easy part but some runs are just not getting off the ground especially if you're taking riskier animals like chicken and that's why we see a high presence of three to sixes and then a huge spike at 10 wins now i know what you're all thinking that's great and all but these players aren't the best players the best player in the world is famous Canadian streamer Northern Lion. And you know what? I took that into consideration too. So, put the disclaimer that this is just for fun. NL did not sign up for my tournament. And I just recorded games in the order that they appeared on his YouTube. So, they, these are Northern Lion's weekly placements in his YouTube games just to see how he would compare against the field and if we give him the benefit of the doubt and say maybe he would have played a little better if he was playing in a serious tournament setting and we assume that he would have waited till sort of later in the week when he's really picking up steam there's a very good chance nl could be about second third place in this field and this is full of really highly competitive players who are practicing and trying to make the most bet meta builds all the time so i just wanted to point that out uh northern lion gets a lot of flack for little uh judgment errors and and maybe occasional silly plays but he's actually performed phenomenally in this weekly pack so that is it for me please check out uh my channel other videos and of course the video where i will be commentating echo boxes final victorious run that's all from me see ya